Alright, I'm just going to do a tutorial on how to set up your FreeNAS for the first time. Now, my, I, my just installed my FreeNAS on my system. Um, I did, however, change my link aggregation. So I selected Serial 2 through the console, uh, Serial 4 for um, Serial 4 for load balance, and I selected uh, ALCO which is the first NIC as one of them and then my SKO as my interface and then I came across to the GUI so I did that because I was having trouble actually adding this interface through the GUI itself it was having a bit of trouble so I just did it through that first after a fresh install because I was also having trouble uh, doing it just playing around with it and then changing it so you kind of have to do everything like link aggregation straight after a fresh install I've found. All right, first things first, you want to add your storage. Seeing as I've already got a, st a hard drive, I'm just going to do in auto import. But for the sake of it, I'll show you how to how to actually add one. So you call it whatever you want to call it. I I'll call it volume one. So volume one. Then you select your drive. And then you go. This is if you want to add one drive. So you got ZFS and force four uh, K byte size. So that's what happens with one drive. With two drives, you get the option of mirror. So they mirror one drive to the other. And I believe you get same write speeds, but get a little bit faster read speeds. Um, and stripe, which you get faster read and write, but no redundancy. Then you go to three drives and you get raids, which is similar to RAID 5. If you don't know what that is, you can look that up um, on Wiki. Uh, it's, it basically gives you the same as Stripe but with the redundancy and you have to have a minimum of three drives. Um, then you got UFS which I actually really haven't had much to do with. So I'm going to cancel. Oh, auto import mine. So this is what happens after I've done a clean install on my operating system. Obviously it doesn't delete your hard drive so there it comes up volume one which is my hard drive stuff that I've actually already got on there. And there's roughly a couple of terabytes already on these drives. And this is set up as a RAIDS. There we go, it's come back out. See, it's a bit glitchy. So after you've done that, you want to set the permissions as you do with every disk. So just change them all to all to tick them all. It makes it a bit easier. You can always change that sort of stuff, what you want to do with permissions after. I haven't really changed, played around with this yet. I just want, I'm the only one going to be able to using it, so I don't, I don't really care. So that's that. Um, next thing is you want to add a user. So you add a user, put in a name, so put in the full details and set a password. And click OK. Once you've added that user, next you go to sharing. So you want to add your shares. So you got Apple, Unix and Windows shares. I've only got Windows and Apple computers, so those are the two I'm going to add. As soon as this, I'm just going to add to the, my, my volume, my volume I'm always going to add to, so it's always going to stay volume one. If I want to add more storage to it, I'm going to have to add another three drives at a time to keep my redundancy. So therefore, I'm not going to have multiple shares. Um, this is just going to be my media share. So volume one, there's my volume and click OK. That's all you have to really do for adding a Apple volume. Same with your SMB Windows Share Media. Click OK. Then you want to go down to Services. So I changed this and I changed it to FreeNAS just because it looks a bit more neater. And Activate it, same as CFIS, which is your SMB Windows Share. Once that's activated, now basically you've got access to it. So you can click over here in FreeNAS, click on it. Mine auto connected because it's just remembered my details from last time, but it'll come up saying uh, enter your user ID. So that was what we put in before over here. So in your, in your users and your password. And then here's all your movies basically. Well this is my media drive so that's what's in it. Um, 
you can always come back up. I don't actually have the disc in at the moment, but you can always come back and go add, create a new volume, blah, 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 blah. Fill out the same sort of stuff there. So like that, this is how you do your time machine. And then you go share, add, a, add another add another share and go volume two or whatever. Um, that's in my other video. Now next, go back to storage and you want to go view this. Now you want to play around with these, have each their own. I, I, I want to change change a few things in here. So I'll check for the sake of it. I know it's SATA, SATA 2 so that's 3 gigabits. I want to have a spin down of about 10 minutes. I've been told that if you have them spin down too often, it, it can be bad for the disc um, in regards to spinning up, spinning down. It's, it's also bad. So, I mean, you've got to find a happy medium. I use it a fair bit at night when I'm at home and stuff. So, if you want to pause it and go and do something, you don't really want it to spin down and have to spin back up again. So, I set this on to 64. I, I actually don't really know. You know, it tells you what it does, but it... You do, it's hard to tell how much it actually changes. Um, I just want to save power because it, it is on 24 hours a day, and for how often you use it, you, you know you're not even going to be using it maybe 10% of the day. Acoustic level, if you got you know a, a very loud hard drives that are going to be a problem, you can set that. I don't worry about mine because it's in a different room. So you have to do that for each drive. So it tells you over here as well what you've done. Alright, so that's all done. Now, while I'm in here, this is also a good place to show you what will happen if you have a hard drive failure. So something like up here will come will go red like it is now and it's a bit red because um, I haven't changed my password for the, to logging into the FreeNAS system via this yet. So that will go green once I do that. I, I believe it's in this new release it will go red if there's a SART, like if one of your um, smart setups will tell you if it's a hard drive failure. And if it does, you will want to come in here and it might tell you somewhere and you, you can tell the serial numbers. So once you've done that, you replace the drive and you can click replace from my understanding. I haven't done that yet, so you might have to go to the forums and it will show you how to do that properly. So I'll just go back to the settings and I'll, I'll go and change my time zone. Just for the sake of it. Now, well it's got here, if, if you can't find your, your city, you can always just go back to GMT plus or minus. So I'm... Adelaide, so there we go, save, advance, enter power, saving demon, I want that on, hopefully, I don't really know what exactly it does, but hopefully it saves power, <laughs> alright, now that's done, I'll go and change my password, so here's where you change your password, so you, you click account, first name, and put in your last name. This is where you put in your password. There was no old password, so you just put in your new password now. I uh, may as well change the root password. Keep all your passwords the same unless you've got multiple users who you want different access privileges and all that kind of stuff to it. You don't want them writing, you just want them reading and things like that. But I'm um, keeping mine very basic, I don't really care, it's not, I don't think anybody's going to be coming in here and changing my settings. Alright, and there's your groups and stuff, so I'm not going to bother with that though. So yeah, now it's gone green. So here's your reporting, so it'll tell you everything you need to know about your reporting stuff once you've, we've done a few tests. So, other than that, we'll set up um, our smart disk. So, we'll leave it on 30 minute intervals. I believe it's 30 minutes. I don't think it's 30 seconds or 30 hours. I'll change this to 
standby check device unless it's in sleep or standby mode. I don't want to wake it up if it's sleeping. There's no point every 30 minutes if the, if the whole computer's off for half a day or something, waking up, wasting power and doing all that and screwing the hard drives. So I'll click on that. Click OK. Smart on. There we go, it's come on. Alright, another thing you can do is you can add smart tests here. Alright, the other thing you can do is set up SSH, FTP, which kind of like um, FTP so you can actually access your drives from over the internet. So you want to set your whatever port you want. If you're using this port or for something else, you can change it. You just got to port forward back to port one, uh, port 21, sorry. So change it to whatever you want. Um, yeah, but just make sure you port forward properly. Um, path, you want to set your volume. Allow root login. So what you want to do if you, you know, you want read, read right, I'll just have everything. OK, and have that on. SSH is the same, port 22, login root. I'm not going to activate that, I don't want it. And that's basically it.